Hey everyone, super excited to be here with you and talk about the Lucid Air. Wow, if you guys saw our M8 competition video, I talked about the headlights in there. I mean, so cool. And when it's coming at you, these headlights, let's see if we can turn them on. Between the speed and the headlights, just gonna blow everyone out of the water. Watch this, so I believe that we are going to turn on the headlights. It's so cool how it starts in the middle and goes out like that. You even have it right here where it's like lit up behind the letters. And then the same thing happens when you turn it off. It comes up from the side and meets in the middle. It is so cool. On this one, we're doing some Expel PPF on it. We are doing some ceramic coating on it. We want to make sure it's protected. Let's check out the interior, guys. I think I just locked it. I'm going to have to unlock it again. Let's see. Double click. I mean, I'll tell you what. He, he handed me the keys and he had to give me instructions on how to use it because there's no, there's no buttons. It just says Lucid on there. There's just, you know, one button in the middle that you can't see. Something else that I really love about it is on the interior. Come on over here, Ethan. It's different than the Tesla because the Tesla just has that one screen right here. Whenever I'm driving the Tesla, I really want to be looking forward at this. And so I love that it has the screen right here, but it also has kind of your standard screen up top. One of the things that I love is the, is the cameras around here. When you put it in reverse, you got these incredible cameras. Look out, oh, there's Mike back there walking to the back. Wonder what he's walking around doing. So you have this 360 view. I mean, the things that you can do with this, look at this. I mean, it is so unbelievably real how you can see everything. Up here you have the, uh, you have the back view or the front view. So you can see all of that. It tells you exactly how many inches you are from stuff. Look, they, they're moving the Tesla back there. You come down here and you can see the Tesla back there. They moved it. This is one of my favorite features in the car. It's definitely gonna help you park your car. And then with the PPF on the car, you're not gonna have any scratches to deal with when they open into your vehicle. talking about a 2022 Lucid Air Grand Touring Edition. If you don't know anything about these cars, the first thing you're gonna see if you go on the Lucid website is they're gonna tell you this car has relentless range, supercar speed, and lavish luxury. This car has over 800 horsepower and will get you zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Just a tenth of a second slower than the Porsche Taycan. Let's talk a little bit about the exterior of the vehicle. The one thing that pops to me right away real quick is the windshield. This is a unique design feature to this vehicle. I've never seen this on any other car. They call this a canopy style windshield. And if you look, the windshield actually flows all up the front of the vehicle, all the way up to the roof. Very unique, very different. I've never seen that on any other car before. It really adds something unique to this car. It gives you a nice open air feeling inside. Now check out the windshield on the inside of the car. So this kind of reminds me of like back in the day, like the old Smokey and the Bandit Trans Ams with the T-tops or the IROC Camaros with the T-tops. Your visors are mounted right to the glass. Very sleek design. Got the peanut butter all up in here. All right, now that we talked about the specs and we talked about the exterior, let's take it for a spin. So the first thing I notice when I'm driving this is everything's just very tight, seamless, quiet. The acoustics in here are great, nice and spacious. I heard these things have massaging seats. Does anybody know how to turn them on? Yeah, unwind setting after a nice long hard day of work, getting your nice lucid. One of the things that I think is really cool about this car is the different color interior. So you got the front seat is one color and the rear seats are another color. That feels so good. I'm gonna be turning down the regenerative braking. We can only do high down here and then we have standard. 
So I'm gonna put it on standard for now just because I don't like to have a ton of regenerative braking, but if you're going on long road trips, it's probably worth it. Just what is regenerative braking? The friction from the brakes are actually putting electricity back into the battery, so you're not actually hitting the brake pedal itself. Um, it's a different system that kind of adds a little bit of range. Um, so it's really nice on long trips too. So John, tell me, what's the first thing that really got you interested in these cars? Well, I have to say, the first thing that made me interested in them was when I saw that it was actually Motor Trend's 2022 Car of the Year, which, if you know anything about Motor Trend, that's a pretty high honor with all the cars that come out during the year. In its class or, or, or overall? Overall. Overall. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. Is that another one right in front of us? It is. What are the chances? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Beep the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even look. Okay. <laughs> Steering is nice and weighted. Yeah, I was reading a review about it before we started and they were saying that for an electric vehicle, it's kind of hard to get good steering if you have all wheel drive because it's a lot of power going to the front wheels. Besides that, there's also a lot of weight with this battery. I like it. I would like to take this kind of car to a track sometime just to see, um, but for just general road driving, it's actually pretty nice. While we have a second to stop here, I'm gonna put this in smooth which from what I can tell actually makes the active dampers a little bit softer. So it loosens up the steering again. The uh, Bilstein shocks go in their lightest setting. It rides really nice. There's no air suspension offered with this car, but it doesn't really need it. In the back here, in a lot of cars, there's not a lot of headroom in the back seat, right? Now I'm not super tall, I'm 5'10", so I'm, I'm average, I guess, but in most cars in the back seat, my head touches the ceiling and I'm not even close. brake and select parking space. All right, oh, here's a parking space. I'm gonna let go of the brake, release the steering wheel, and see what happens. Let's put it in reverse and see what happens. Getting on the highway here to just test it out a little bit. Oh boy, we got a plow truck. Oh, that was a little jumpy there. Yeah, that was good, that was good, that was fun. Once you get driving it, you always think, oh, it's gonna sound so weird because you don't have uh, any of that engine sound. But to be honest with you, the road sound, you know, really makes up the difference for that. And you don't even, you don't even think that you're really driving anything different. In a lot of these EVs with so much glass everywhere, you feel like you're in open air. It's, it's incredible how you look out everywhere and, and you see the outside. I'm a huge fan of that because one of the things for me is, I like hard tops, I like a coupe, but I love what a convertible gives me, And uh, but I don't really like the look of a, of a cloth top or anything like that. Being in here gives me that feel, that, uh, that open air feel that I really enjoy. Love how when you turn on the turn signal, if you see here, it, it turns the camera on, you can see what's next to you. It allows you to keep your eye on the road. I'm, I'm not speeding, that's for sure. I wanna make sure that uh, I take care of the owner's vehicle. He has been so kind to us to let us test drive the vehicle, to give you guys the full experience that you know we're getting here of the Lucid Air. much for joining us. Uh, I think that uh, you are going to find our channel really fun, uh, educating, um, but most of all, it's going to put a smile on your face and I'm really excited about that. Comment below about all these fun features that we talked about. Tell us what your favorite is as well. If you have a Lucid Air, show us a video or a picture of something that you absolutely love about your vehicle. Thank you so much for being with us and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next Friday. Got a new video coming out and uh, I think you'll be really excited and uh, you'll enjoy it and smile. Have a great day, guys.